Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. Is everybody ready? Yes. Yes, right. teacher, good evening. Nice, good evening. We are, hi, good, good evening. I'm sorry, good evening, Claudia. <laughs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. How's it going with the platform? Have you had any trouble till now? No? no. Everything okay with your platform? And this unit is really easy, I think. So, I mean, because we know how to use the simple present, but we are um, expanding the vocabulary, right? Mm -hmm. I think the structure, it's kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Bien, quiero animarlos a que no falten, ¿verdad? A que eh, procuremos estar en todas las clases. Acuérdense que el compromiso que adquirimos lo adquirimos desde un principio a estar al 100%, ¿verdad? De asistencia. Eh, hay varios de ustedes que han cumplido con ese requisito. Los felicito. Y no es solamente un requisito porque sí, ¿verdad? Sino que es para que ustedes puedan lograr su objetivo de aprender. Entonces, a veces, vaya, faltaron a una clase, no vieron el video, la tarea la hicieron a cómo salió y después ese espacio queda como en blanco, ¿verdad? Y entonces de ahí se va perdiendo un poquito la continuidad en el aprendizaje. Entonces, es, es para que no se interrumpa ¿Verdad? El proceso completo y que se cumpla el objetivo y ustedes puedan verlo cumplido el objetivo, ¿verdad? Entonces es necesario que todos pongamos de nuestra parte y asistamos al 100%, ¿verdad? De aquí para allá, ahorita ya casi llegamos a la mitad. Estamos ahora en la clase 9. Today we are in the video conference number 9. So tomorrow it will be half of the course, okay? Half of the course. A la mitad del curso, llegamos mañana. So please, everybody, you have to do your homework up to number 10. Tienen que hacer su tarea hasta la número 10 para el día de mañana. Y también hay que hacer el examen intermedio, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que son cuatro partes ya pueden ir trabajando eh, las que ya hemos visto, ¿verdad? Ya pueden ir trabajando esos temas. Son cuatro partes y no es tan difíciles. Es de aplicar lo que hemos aprendido, ¿verdad? So everybody, welcome to your video conference number nine. I encourage you to attend classes to the 100% of the classes. It's essential for your learning process to be present in classes, to practice, okay? Then we are going to start uh, making just a feedback, okay? We want to go back in time to yesterday's class and we want to talk just a little bit about the things we studied last night. Who remembers what was the main topic yesterday? The adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency, all right. Mm -hmm. What else? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Usual. Usual. Yeah. Etc. All right, Mauricio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. 
good taken. All right, look, um, we use the adverbs of frequency to express how frequently we do an activity. Yesterday, we were speaking about uh, everyday tasks, remember? Everyday tasks. And we were saying that some people, the staff in a restaurant, have different schedules and they have different tasks to do in in order to function, okay? In order to function. Okay, then, if we talk about tasks, we are talking about responsibilities. We are describing our job, what we are hired for, okay? What are we hired for? What do we do in our companies? That will be our task today, all right? Queremos entonces hablar acerca de lo que hacemos nosotros, así como lo vimos ayer. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Con qué frecuencia lo hacemos? ¿A qué hora lo hacemos? ¿Cuándo lo hacemos? ¿Ok? Uh, y lo vamos a relacionar con nuestra job position. ¿Ok? So we want to express how often we do the tasks, the activities, the actions we do every day, how frequently, when, what time we do these activities because they are our responsibilities. Okay, so we want to express that. And the topic for tonight is simple present practice. So we are going to say what we do and what we don't do. What we do, what we don't do. And also we want to talk about a third person, remember? The third person needs a letter S in the conjugation of the verb, right? Remember, he cleans, uh, she takes, uh, he collects, uh, she speaks. We add letter S to the third person form of the verb in the present tense, remember that. So this is what we are going to do mainly, okay? Allow me to introduce the class. Today we are doing a simple present practice. So here we are, simple present practice. In our video conference number nine. Okay. We want to apply what we know. Okay. So this is our video conference number nine, simple present practice. The objective is that at the end of the class, you will be able to describe a colleague's routine at the workplace using the simple press. Our class agenda. We are making a feedback, okay? We are making a feedback. Then we have a conversation time and we want to see the difference when we use, or, or, or when we, um, when a verb become a noun or when a verb become a subject using the ing, um, ending, all right? So the conversation time is going to be to make this difference between the simple present and the ing endings, but not as we think it is, but the present simple, okay? Then we have a reading comprehension and we are going to do a pair work it's about the conversation. Then in the breakout rooms, we are going to work on page 26. And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is for Irma. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas, it's your turn. 
Irma, are you joined? Are you connected? Irma, Irma. Hello, teacher. Hi, Irma. Today is your turn to stay after class 10 more minutes. Are you able to do it? Are you staying with me, Irma, after class? Um, sorry, teacher. Estaba ausente, no. Ok, ahora le toca a usted. Es su turno de quedarse en la sesión uno a uno. Le pregunto si se va a quedar después de la clase. Sí. All right. Thank you very much. There we go. So let's start by the feedback. This is your turn. Ok, yesterday we were just speaking about the tasks and what people do and everything, right? So now we want to see this. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do at your workplace? What do you do for a living? We can answer this question by two ways. But the way that I need you to answer is your profession or your occupation. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, I'm going to ask Claudia Maria. How, um, sorry, what do you do? Uh, uh -huh. I don't, I don't have, I don't know how to say if it is that, if that's okay, say uh -huh. I, I do purchases of construction materials or I purchase. Uh, it just, I, I per, uh, yeah, I do the purchases or I purchase. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of I, materials. Okay, I, oh, one second. I purchase construction materials. Okay, yeah, that's your main activity. But what's your profession or what's your job position? Ah, mm -hmm. I'm an architect. Okay, so I'm an architect. There you go. I purchase construction materials. There you go. This is your main activity, right? Okay. Claudia Maria, usted le pregunta a otro compañero. You choose another classmate and ask, what do you do? ¿Cómo vamos a contestar? Primero, nuestra profesión y luego la acción que o la actividad que eh, hace el resumen de todo lo que hacemos, ¿ok? O nuestra principal actividad. All right, there you go. You may start, Claudia. Uh, what do you do, Emerson? Hello, good evening. I am a quality inspector. And one sentence saying one of your activities or the main activity you do. Basically, my task is to the inspection for the products and test performance for this. And test, test performance of tools, did you say? I'm sorry. Yes, tools. Uh, tools. All right. There you go. Now you ask another classmate, Emerson, please. Okay. Mr. Mauricio. Good hey, hello. Hello. Good evening. What do you do? Uh, I I'm an industrial engineer. I make a schedule 
uh, the production of the protection. Importation product, okay. Every day. Now you ask another classmate, Mauricio, please. Uh, Don Jose Bernardo. <laughs> Hello. What do you do? Uh, I'm a quality inspector too. <clears throat> I check the quality. Of the production. In the, I need an inspector. <laughs> in the forging area. Excellent. All right, very good. You did a really good job, guys. And yes, this is what we want to practice tonight, all right? So now we see that we have who is the person that then we are going to complete that. Uh, for example, who is a person that cleans the workplace? Who is a person that sells the products? Then we are going to say a job position in our own companies, okay? And also you give a name if applies, okay? If it doesn't apply, then there is no one doing that activity in your company, but it exists in a different company. So you are going to write the job position it could be, okay? So uh, while you are doing that, I'm calling the role, okay? Ustedes se van a poner a hacer este, okay? Completando las profesiones y ocupaciones ahí de las personas que hacen eso. Si en su compañía existe la actividad y existe la... Eh, el empleo o el job position, entonces ponen el nombre también de la persona, ¿ok? Bye. Si no existe el nombre, o alguien que haga esa actividad, entonces ustedes no ponen más que la profesión o ocupación que se encarga de eso, ¿ok? Bien, mientras voy yo a tomar la asistencia, ¿ok? Allow me to send this for you to there you go there you have it on the whatsapp so i'm going to call the role right now there you go please everybody turn your camera on and when i call your name you say present Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Okay. Cecilia Jasmine Mengibar Soto. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. JC Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Miss Stacy. Not yet. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo, not yet. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. 
Present. Okay, Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Jose Gerardo, not yet. Um, Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Presente, present. All right. Luis Javier Castillo. He said that he was going to be as a listener tonight, but I need him to answer, remember that. All right. Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marina Jancy Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Even present teacher. All right. And thank you very much, everyone. And now we are going to see. All right, Daisy, one second. Oh, sorry. Aha, Mr. Alexander. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking who else is there. Okay. There is someone else. Okay. All right. I will share the screen and you will answer this. Okay, then. Was it easy? Piece of cake, teacher. Huh? Did you finish? No. Not yet? Okay. Okay, um, try please to get in the board uh, with the annotate a option that you have in the menu. You click on the annotate and then you write, I mean, you click on text and you click over there like this. Vamos a ver, prueben a ver si pueden entrar así para poder hacer la actividad que ustedes lo van a escribir. Ya han escrito en el pizarrón, ¿sí? En la, perdón, en la pantalla. Yes, teacher. Ok, no. yes, ok, los que no lo han hecho, eh, hay dos opciones. El que está desde computadora voy a decir ahorita, ok. Después digo para el que está en celular. El que está en computadora, vaya arriba de donde aparece que yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Ok. Ven ahí que está verde y rojo, entonces suben un poquito y les va a aparecer un menú negro. 
en ese menú hay un lápiz donde dice annotate. Si usted lo tiene en español, creo, creo que dice anotar. ¿Ok? Le dan clic ahí y les despliega un menú en donde ustedes pueden poner texto, donde, donde dice text. Ustedes dan clic ahí y ahí van a escribir el texto. Y ahí ustedes le pueden poner el color que ustedes quieran usar, etc. Ahí usan borrador, ahí está el menú. Vale. Para los que están en celular, solo háganle clic sobre la pantalla donde estoy compartiendo y abajo les va a aparecer un lapicito en un círculo. Presionen ese lapicito y ya pueden escribir en la pantalla. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Bueno, vamos a empezar a ver. Yo me voy a poner en silencio. Vamos a ver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Yo me voy a poner en silencio. Eh, number one, cleans the workplace, Jose Alexander. Number two, Norma Patricia, sells the products. Karen, number three. Eh, Jose Bernardo, number four. Emerson, number five. Sería takes orders, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, takes orders. And then Nelly will be the next one after Emerson, okay? Is a professional, etc. And the last one will be for Pablo, okay? So what am I going to do now? Me voy a poner en silencio y usted va a decir completo. Who is the person that, taran, tan, tan, escribe lo que va a escribir, lo dice, ok, que esa es la respuesta. Vamos a ver. ¿Sí se comprende lo que vamos a hacer? Yo me pongo en silencio y ustedes van a leer y van a contestar, así como les dije el orden, ¿verdad? Vamos. Yes, teacher. Teacher, yo no sé cómo hacerlo ahí en pantalla, como dijo. Ahí han tapado donde debo escribir yo, teacher. All right. All right, lo voy a mover. Sandra. Hola. Usted es la que tiene el problemita, ¿verdad? Para entrar. Entonces, sí, ahí, es... ¿está Ajá. en celular o está en, en eh, computadora? Es que... Es que estoy en la computadora, pero es que no se usa la computadora, Ticha. Ah, pero mire, ah, está... Antena, estoy aquí. <ríe> ok, ok, vaya. Entonces, espere y le podemos ayudar. Ay, cuando ya le toque a usted, entonces vamos a, a, le vamos a ayudar, ¿ok? okay. A, a José le tocaba en el primero, ¿verdad? ¿Quién escribió en el primero? Póngalo a la par, póngalo a la par, please. Beside that, Jose Alexander, try. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nelly. Mm -hmm. Lo borró, Nelly. Oh, there you are. Okay, who sells the products is the next one. Ok, no perdamos el orden de la, de la actividad. ¿Cómo es lo que vamos a hacer? Lo que vamos a hacer es que a los que mencioné así en orden, van a leer la pregunta completa. Who is the person that cleans the workplace? It's the cleaner. Ok, or the collaborators. Luego, el que sigue va a leer la otra pregunta. 
who is the person that sells the product, okay? Vamos de regreso. José Alexander, comienza. Okay, teacher. Who is the person that clean, cleans their workplace? It's the cleaner. Very good, very good. Who was next? If I'm not wrong, was it Karen? Me teacher, number two. Norma. Uh, yes, okay. sell the product. Ajá, Pero okay. no puedo escribir. Este, okay. Sell the product uh, in my company is uh, in the purchasing department. Because okay. Because the, the people uh, she buy and sell too. Mm, okay. El compra y vende. Sí, así se dice. All right, entonces, léame completa la pregunta. Who is the person that sells the products? Uh, who is the person that sells the products? Uh -huh. In my company is purchasing department. All right, very good. Aquí me pusieron también marketing staff. Es otra, otra respuesta muy buena uh -huh. también. Vaya, vamos a poner el, el suyo acá, Norma. Okay, I will write it over there. And you said the purchase department. In the department. Okay. Go. Thank you. All right. Next one, number three. Mauricio, help us with number three. Okay, dejemos la tres para mientras sigamos. Entonces, it was Emerson, right? We serve the tables. No, me teacher. Ah, oh, okay, Jose Bernardo, there you go. Who is the person that serves the tables? The waiter serves the tables. Very good. Mm -hmm. And this is very good because it is in plural. So here you are mm, using the base form. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Here it has to be with the letter S, serves the tables. All right, continue people. Who is the person that take the orders? Take the order from the customer to the kitchen is the waiters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, singular or plural, in that case, if you are saying one waiter, then you have to say the waiter, okay? Or the waiters, okay? There you go. Next one. Well, um, who is the person that is a professional food who is usually in charge of a kitchen in a restaurant? Is the help chef in a restaurant? All right, very good. Mm -hmm. It's a chef, very good. And the last one, Pablo. Who is the person that makes bread, bread uh, or cake? 
by cooking them in an oven, the pastry chef. All right, the pastry chef, all right. And also we call it the baker, como decir el panadero, right? The baker, I will write it over here, baker. Baker. Mm -hmm. Because he bakes the things in an oven, right? Mm -hmm. All right, people, number three. Number three uh, is missing. ¿A quién le tocaba en realidad, chicos? A ver, no se me agachen. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien quiere eh, completar la número tres? Mi teacher. Ok, please, Norma. And what do you do? Um, collect money from the public or my company is the cashier. All right. La pregunta es acá, miren, Norma. Who is the person that collects uh -huh. money Perdón. from the public? Uh -huh. Ay, sí, porque allá decía que haces. Perdón, exactly. Sí, es cierto. Mm -hmm. Who is the person that collects money from the public? Okay. My company, uh, the cashiers. The cashier, okay? Cashier. Cashier. Mm -hmm. the cashier okay. all right so now when we have two letter l the double l we just pronounce one okay we just pronounce one in english we says i'm sorry we say collect mm -hmm. collect mm -hmm. yes okay okay is there any question about this activity No, me. no questions. No, no question. Okay, I'm going to erase all the drawings and let's go to the next thing we want to see before going to the conversation. Here we've got some vocabulary, okay? These are everyday tasks. These are responsibilities from people, okay? So when we want to talk about the activities that someone else does in a company, we use the third person verb form. And remember that it, if it, I'm sorry, if it is negative, what we are going to say, then we use doesn't or does not. So let's read. He assists clients every day. Okay, good. So he is from customer service, maybe, or he's a clerk, or maybe he's just in front of the public, right? Then Evelyn doesn't answer the phone. Evelyn doesn't answer the phone. It's not her responsibility, okay? Abel doesn't open the store every morning. It's not his responsibility, or maybe... It's not his turn that morning, okay? Eric cleans up the waiting room. Mm, cleans up. Cuando tenemos un phrasal verb como este que está compuesto de dos palabras, la letra S siempre va, miren, siempre va en la base, ¿verdad? Siempre. Vamos a la siguiente. Let's look at the next one. Rita makes coffee. Rita makes coffee. Michael works on these stats. Michael works on these stats. I analyze data. I analyze data. I help to create new marketing strategies. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jose Bernardo, please read the first one. Sandra, read the next one. And Daisy reads the next one, please, three. Okay, teacher, he assists, he assists clients every day. Yes, please, Sandra. Evelyn doesn't answer the phone. Very good, Daisy. Abel doesn't open the store. Every morning. 
Okay, now Jose Alexander, then Nelly, and then Mauricio, please. Eric cleans up the waiting room. Uh, Rita makes coffee. Mauricio? Your microphone is off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Michael wore on the staff. Stats. Stop. Ajá, Stop. Mauricio tiene que uh, pronunciar la letra S. Mire, works. works. Michael uh -huh. works on the staff. Very good, the stats. Good. Now let's read the two next, Norma and Karen, please. Norma and Karen. Okay, I analyze that. Sorry. I'll say I help to create new marketing strategies. Okay, very good. So these are tasks, activities. Please think about three activities you and a person and your company do. Okay, so you and that person do. Yeah, three, only three. There you go. What do you say, teacher? You have to think about three activities. One that you do and some other people do in your company. Okay, like this one. I, Abel, Evelyn, Eric, all right? There you go, only three, only three activities. Okay, now that you thought about the three activities, please go to the annotate um, option and you may start Jose Bernardo with, with your three sentences. Write them. Okay, teacher. There you go. Who else wants to participate? Raise your hand and tell me your name. Norma. All right, Norma, please. Uh, yeah. ¿Puede accesar a la pantalla? No, no puedo. Oh, all right. Siento. All right. La, uh, ¿La leo? Yes, please. Okay. Maritza sends emails. Mm -hmm. Yes. Roxana calls. The client, the client. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Norma cleans the floors. Right. Thank you, Jose. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Norma. Okay, I check the production. Ulysses tests the raw materials. Marlon receives the complaints. Excellent. That's good. Uh, who wants to participate? Someone uh, who can access? Me teacher, me okay, teacher. okay, okay please. Uh, Natalie makes copies. Okay. Uh, Letty prepares coffee. Uh, Jocelyn enjoys products. <laughs> Natalie makes coffee. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Sandra. Okay. Uh -huh. Natalie? Natalie makes coffee. Uh, coffee. coffee, coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> makes coffees. Uh huh. And. Letty. Letty. Um, prepare. Prepare. Uh -huh. Prepare coffee. Prepares coffee. Uh -huh. Okay. Jocelyn. Invoice. Como se um, Invoices. Facturas. Ajá, sí, sí. Invoices. Uh -huh. Product. Invoices. Okay, there you go. Hmm? Very good. Who who else wants to participate? Me teacher. Okay, please, Mauricio. I make production plan. I make mm -hmm. and I will email email every day and the I last don't, I don't make coffee okay good but do you drink coffee yeah okay but I know I don't make okay coffee. very good she like drink no make <laughs> in light ring. Okay. Okay, here we are. So yes, this is the way to express the activities we do every day. But now, what time do you check the production? Bernardo, what time does Natalie make copies? When does Maritza send the emails? We need to know that according to the schedule for everything functions well, right? So let's, let's try to say this in that way. For example, um, uh, Mauricio said, I read, I read emails every day. Okay, what time do you read the emails? Or when do you read the emails, right? When do you make the production plan? Um, if you don't make coffee, when do you drink coffee? Okay, so think about that right now. Y vamos a escribir oraciones así acá, okay? We are going to write some other sentences. For example, I check the production from Monday through Friday from 8 to 12, from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So that's what we want to say right now, okay? There you go. Thinking, thinking. All right, now, vamos a ver, Emerson, please, right. ask Jose Bernardo the time, okay, that they have programmed these activities. 
For example, when do you check the production? Okay, there you go. You check the production. Um... No, no, Emerson, you have to ask Jose Bernardo uh, about oh, okay. the time he does that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jose Bernardo. Hello, Emerson. How do you, what time do you check the production? I check the production from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. What time do the Ulysses test the raw materials? Okay, remember what time does Ulysses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what time does Ulysses <laughs> test, the, test the raw material? Ulysses tests the raw materials every morning at 10 a.m. What, what time? What time to that Marlon receives the complaints? Marlon receives the complaints from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Ten thirty a.m. to uh, teacher. It's from nine to ten thirty. I'm sorry. From nine to ten thirty a.m. Right? Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, people, we are going to write sentences like this ones. I need three sentences. Okay. Everybody thinking about three activities and the time they do these activities in your company, okay? okay. There you go, thinking right now. So, sorry, teacher, I don't understand the task. Okay, we are going to write three sentences like this ones, saying the person in charge, the task, and the time they do this activity. Three sentences like this ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody ready?
Okay, now here we've got some more space. Teacher, mm -hmm. tell me how do you pronunciation absentism in English? Absentism, up, sentism, up, uh -huh. up Yes, because absent is ausente, right? Uh -huh. So absentism. I will oh, try to write it down right here. Check like this on a chat. You can check it out. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oops, I don't know what happened. Pero yo no lo he borrado, chicos. Alguien me puso ahí. <laughs> yo no sé. Uh, who brought with the green letters? Who was using the green letter? Okay, could you please send it? Uh, I mean, press enter again. Okay. All right. There was one about Mauricio. I don't know if it was Jose Bernardo who wrote it. I'll write it again, teacher. No problem. No All problem. right, please, please. I don't know what happened because I didn't change anything. Well, I was trying to put it over there, but I didn't uh, uh, click on the eraser. I don't know what happened. There you go. Mm -hmm. Giovanni receives customers complaints every day from seven to 11 a.m. Very good. Mm -hmm. William has been an assistant manager for eight years. Okay. Mm -hmm. The owner is in charge of scheduling orders. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, Emerson is using a different uh, structure. It's a different tense of the verb, okay? That's advanced, uh, more advanced, right? Remember that when we want to talk about the um, everyday tasks, we usually use the simple present, okay? It's easier and it's practical and that's the way to, to, to do it, right? So this one is very good and it's correct because it's not an everyday task, okay? He's describing his job position and the time he has been in that job position, that's work experience. So there is when we use the present perfect, okay? Nice, very good, uh, Emerson. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Leonor is in charge of scheduling orders. Very good. After a preposition, we write an ing perform, okay? So scheduling, we are not going to say of schedules, of scheduling, and that's correct. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Mauricio, could you, I'm sorry, Jose Bernardo, could you write your sentences? Okay. Teacher, I, I write sentencing. Okay. Could you read, please? Mm. Uh, Juan, pass. Okay, did you write it on the chat? Did yeah. you write it? Did you write it Juan, on the chat? Juan, Juan passed the list of the thousand things. Okay. And I checked it at 8 a.m. Juan passes the list of absenteeism. Is that correct, Mauricio? Um, passing. Yeah, it passes the list of absent. Mm -hmm. Absent things. Um, I check. I check it at eight m. And I check it at eight m. No, eight. Okay. Eight. A M. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. There you go. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to give me an example that you wrote? Vale. Los que no me lo pueden escribir acá, pueden escribir en el chat ahorita y yo los voy a pasar para acá. Vale, vamos a ver. Oscar, Xiomara, Marina, Darío, las suyas. En un momentito las pongo en el chat, teacher. Ok. Vladimir. Imelda. Ahorita. Okay. All right, here we've got the first one. It's from Jose Alexander, if I'm not wrong, right? Nubia organizers. Here we go, yes. Teacher, para reducir la letra. You have an option right there in the menu where it says draw uh, format. Hay un cuadrito de color, oh, okay. mm -hmm. ahí en forma, okay. ahí le baja o le Thank sube you. el tamaño, ok. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's look in the chat. Mm. Very good. Thank you, Pablo. Creo que me quedo montado en otro. Yeah, but I, I, I'm trying to put it over here, maybe. Thank you. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, people, thank you very much for sharing. Last one on the chat. Becca has been the safety coordinator. Okay, this is the one from Dario. Okay, the safety coordinator last the last two years. Rudy dispatches the routes from five thirty to eight a.m. every day. Aquí sería tercera persona. Mire, dispatches. Karen supervises. Acordémonos de la tercera persona siempre. Okay? Always third person. Passes, organizes, makes. I prepare. I supervise. Okay, correcto. Me, me, ahí, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reviews, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleans. The housekeeping department cleans. Oh, the complete department. Oh my God, I thought 198 rooms every day. Who does that, right? Oh my God, it was <laughs> uh, very, it, it was a surprise for me. All right. So here we are. I'm going to do a print screen. I will send it right here for you to get it. Okay. There you have it. Va con todo lo mío ahí. Okay. Para que puedan sacar esa. Eh, Y tengan todos ahí los ejemplos. All right, then everybody has the examples. And now we are going to continue. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this activity. It's not easy because technologically we have some issues, but we are learning here, and this is a practice. So we are going to continue with this thing about the schedules. And let's remember the schedule we were reading yesterday in our manuals. Remember that in our manual, we have on page 23, a schedule from a restaurant. Let's uh, go back to the conversation just to remember a little bit what they were talking about. So everybody, please go to page 23 in your manuals. And we are going to practice this short conversation we have and the activity two. So let's go. Heard it is. And it starts like this. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody's here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shifts for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift, right? Let's try to practice. Please, I'm going to ask Darío, please, with Tatiana, are you available? Miss Tatiana? Okay. Okay. Tatiana, are you available? Okay, then Karen, please, Darío and Karen. 
Okay. You may start, Dario. Uh, yeah, I'm Ben. Yes, hey, please. Matthew. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late cheese for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Thank you very much. This word is schedule. 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 Okay. Schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Okay, so now, what are they talking about? They're talking about two shifts, the morning shift and the evening shift, or the late shift and the early shift. Remember that the day is divided in morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Each one has a different preposition. For example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, okay? Different prepositions. So we are going to look at the schedule to confirm what they were saying. He was saying that Mark and Sophie, right? They have the morning shift, yeah? Okay, let's look at what time do you think it's going to be the morning shift? The morning shift. What time is the morning shift? Mm -hmm. From six to 11 or 12. All right. That's in your company, right? Yes, it's mm -hmm. the morning turn. Okay, shift. Uh -huh. Shift. shift. Okay. All right, good. So from five in the morning, did you say? Six. Oh, six. From six in the morning to? Twelve. Twelve. Oh. All oh. right. Mm -hmm. From five to twelve. Very good. Mm -hmm. There are some others, and it depends on the uh, area or in the field that this company is. For example, the kind of, uh, the, of company that this, this is a restaurant, okay? So they have different schedules because there are different times to sell this kind of products. So let's look at the staff, the tasks, the schedules that this restaurant has. And let's look at the people. How many people um, do they work in this restaurant? How many people? Seventeen. 17, all right. How many cashiers are there? There are four, four cashiers. Cashier. Two persons, four cashiers. Four cashiers. All right, uh-huh. So four cashiers in total, right? Four cashiers in total. Yeah. Okay, how many cooks are there? The same quantity. Four, right? Yeah. There are four cooks in this restaurant. All right. How many managers are there in this company? Only one. 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 So we could say it's a general manager, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about uh, this activity to take the orders? How many people take orders? Four people. Four people take orders, right? There you go. And what about the waiters? I didn't. Four. How many waiters are there? Four people. Four. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Is there any waitress? Sorry? Is there any waitress? There isn't any teacher. There isn't any? Okay. We could say that Haley, isn't Haley a woman? What do you think? Haley Duke or Duke? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, teacher, there you go. Uh, yeah, it <laughs> sounds, right? It sounds more like a woman. I, I, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I I have never seen a man called Haley. What do you think? Yeah, maybe, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. In English. Mm -hmm. But in Spanish, it doesn't sound for a man, right? So, yeah, maybe there is one waitress. Maybe we don't know, okay? <laughs> it's just because of the name that it is kind of confusing if it is a man or if it is a woman. So, let's say that there is one waitress and three waiters. So we are um, making the difference between they, women, and men, right? And we are respecting gender in this case. Also, um, if we say, what time, what time does Kimberly Thompson um, collect the money? From, from a two two p.m. A two four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hagamos una oración completa. Kimberly Thompson collects the money, the money. from ten a.m. to two p.m. Who collects the money or who is the cashier from two thirty p.m. to four p.m. Who is it? My company. Oh. No, right here, according to this schedule. Karen, Karen Wilkins. Karen Wilkins. Yes, yes. Karen Wilkins is. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, does, does. I'm sorry, does. Because we are using uh, collect, right? Collect, not is, but does. All right, so Karen Wilkins does. Very good. What does Kevin Dolly does? Kevin. Kevin Dolly is. What does he do? What does Kevin Dolly do? It's a cook. He is a cook. 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 No, just cook. 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 He is a cook. He is a cook. Cook okay. is the profession. Okay. Yeah, he is the cook. He right. work, he work of them at uh, 3 p.m., 3 p.m. Yeah, he works from 10 a.m. to 3.30, I think. Yeah, 3.30 p.m. Yes. So who cooks? Who cooks in this restaurant? Only Kevin Dolly? No. no. Who else? Theo, Lucy, Linda Harris. Cooks. What about Linda. Karen Dolly? Karen Warcaster. Uh, after? Tarde afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, in, in the tarde? afternoon. Actually, no, she does it from 10 a.m. to, to, to 3 30 p.m. If you check. Yeah. Look. Yeah, the 3 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 3 p.m. At the 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the late shift or the evening shift, right? Shift, I'm sorry, the shift. So let's think about um if you go to the restaurant and you say who is the manager here hmm. mm -hmm. it's jennifer rodriguez all right she is jennifer rodriguez very good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes uh -huh. how do we call the order taker not only the order taker that goes goes to the table and take the order and then uh they go to the kitchen no just the person who receives the order and 
pass it to the kitchen. That's what is the difference. Look, order taker and waiter. Order taker and waiter. They different. They are different. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what do you think they do? I can't write. I can't. Mm -hmm. What does they they uh, take their order and trans and pass uh, to the cook? All right, uh huh. Like a helper, right? Like a collaborator or something, yeah. A collaborator, wow. yes. All right, yes. So now, uh, can you name the four waiters? Walter, 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 very good. Thank you very much. So, what's the open hours? What's the open hours? Uh, 10 a.m. with uh, Walter Omo in Matthew 2. All right. So, the restaurant is open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The restaurant is open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Uh, is there any supervisor here? Um, no, nobody. Who could do that? I mean, who could do that activity? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer, yeah. because she's the manager, so she oversees, yeah. right? She oversees yeah. the activity or the general operation, right, of the whole restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there we are. So, now let's go and check some, some things right here. It says, read the schedule again and answer the questions below. Number one, it says, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? What does Matthew do? Okay. And then we are going to, I mean, we are going to the breakout room to answer these questions in groups. And then when we come back, when we come back, we are going to share the answers. Okay. So let's go to the breakout rooms. And you are going to share the answers when you come back. So let's take about, um, let's say 10 minutes, all right? 10 minutes. ¿Se entiende sí qué vamos a hacer? Ir a responder esas preguntas en 10 minutos. Ok. A ver, todos estamos en el entendido. Todos tenemos la página. Yeah. Ok. Let's go then. Hola, teacher. Este, fíjese que ahorita no voy a poder participar. Estoy coordinando una agenda con una compañera para el día de mañana. Este, no voy a poder participar en esta, en, en, en lo que puse a hacer ahorita. All right. Ok. Pero no, no me voy ahí, a, no me meto ahí en el grupo, ¿o sí? Yo creo que sí, para que sí, escuche ¿verdad? por lo menos lo que están haciendo ah, okay. ellos. Así no pierde el hilo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, va, está All bien. Right. Uh -huh.
Hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going here? Um, creo que estoy sola. <laughs> no sé. Uh, here you have Karen and yeah. Claudia. Uh, okay. Yes, you can ask the question and look for the answers. Please, I need you to practice speaking, all right? Okay. Here, podría, es que yo no, no puedo ver la página. No sé si la podría enviar al chat. I sent it to the WhatsApp group. Sí, yeah. Okay, Bye. ahorita la veo. Bye. Okay, the first is, who is in charge of wearing tables in the morning shift? The answer is... Okay, so yeah, Walter, Omar, and Matthew. Two. Okay. The in the morning shift. Mm. Uh, it could be Jorge and Carlos. Church, a church of kitchen. the kitchen in the morning. In the morning, okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hola, who, is in, who is in church of? Taking orders during the morning shift. The uh, Jorge taken. and Carlos. <clears throat> Está hablando durante la mañana también, ¿verdad? Sí. Jorge, pero Jorge y Carlos en la mañana. En, entraría Carlos también. Que va una sí, hora. De... Los dos abren a las 10. Sí. Jorge Milano. Jorge, Jorge, Milano, Jorge Milano y. Ajá. English, please. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Jorge and Carlos, they take him order in the morning. I know. Oh, taking orders. Morning. Mm -hmm. And then number five. What does Matthew what do? What does Matthew do? If he is a waiter. He's a waiter. He works. Of waiter, hmm? he works. He on... work a uh, start ten a.m. and finish three p.m. Hmm. Él inicia trabajando a las 10, termina a las 3. 
And finish. 3 p.m. Abundan las vacas. Ahí viene la ticha. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Was no, it easy? Picadita. <laughs> But was it easy? Yes. yes. All right, all right. It's almost time. So practice just a little bit reading and asking and answering questions. All right. Okay. There okay. you go. Within, within sure of waiting tables in the morning. Okay. Within sure of All right, now you are going to um, share your answers. But the first thing we are going to do is that you are going to share your screen and then you are going to ask and answer, ask and answer, all right? So allow me to see the first group was, uh, Pablo, were you alone there? Okay, Pablo, Karen, and Claudia. Right? Okay. Claudia, Karen, and Pablo, please ask and answer the questions. Okay, teacher. And who is in charge of wearing tables in the morning shift? I think that is Kimberly Thompson. Okay, Karen, you ask the question and one of your classmates answers. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Who is in charge of wearing towels in the morning shift? Huh, Pablo? Gloria? Matthew, Matthew and uh, Walter and Matthew are the waiting in the morning shift. Continue, Claudia. Um, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez is the manager. Uh, who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin I mean... and Karen. Kevin and Karen are in charge of the kitchen in the morning. Yes. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Uh, Walter and Matthew. What does Matthew do? Matthew is a waiter. Is George and Carlos are the are the taker in the morning chip. All right, thank you very much, guys. Now let's look at the next group was Daisy, Jose Bernardo, and Mauricio. Okay, ask and answer. Okay, teacher. Who is in charge of wearing 
waiting tables in the morning shift. Mauricio, your phone, uh, your microphone is off. Okay. Walter Olmo and Matthew Tour are in the chair for us waiting table in the morning ship. What's that? Okay. Uh, uh, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Ah, uh, Jennifer Rodriguez is in charge of manager of the restaurant. Hoy te voy a preguntar yo, José. Okay. Who is in charge of skipping in the morning ship? Number three. Kevin and Karen Dilly are in charge of the kitchen in the morning ship. Oh. Number four, who is the charge of stacking orders during the morning shift? Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian are in charge of taking orders in the morning shift. Number five, what does Matthew do? He is a waiter. Very good, very good. Now okay. let's look at, uh, even though it's not only Kevin, but Karen too, right? In charge of the kitchen in the morning shift. All right, let's check this list again. And uh, group three, Imelda, Nelly, and Norma, please. <laughs> Okay. Nelly. Hola. There Hola. she is. There she is, Nelly. Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos, ¿Le pregunto o, o usted me pregunta? Okay, I'll see. Who is in charge of growing paper in the morning shift? Walter Oma and Matthew Chule are the waiters in charge in the morning shift. Okay. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez is the restaurant's manager. Who is the charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin Julie and Karen Julie are the cooks in the morning shift. Oh. Who is charge of staking or in during the morning shift. Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian are the order takers in the morning shift. Mm -hmm. What does Matthew do? Matthew mm -hmm. is the waiter in the morning shift. Okay. Thank you, girls. All right. Now, Emerson and Irma, please. Um, um, what is short on wedding putting tables in the morning shift? In charge of the waiting tables in the morning shift are Walter and Matthew. What is short on managing the restaurant? The person in charge of the manager means the restaurant is Jennifer Rodriguez. What is, what is, is charge on the kitchen in the morning shift? The people in charge of the kitchen are Karen and Kevin. Who is charge or taking orders during the morning shift? The person in charge of the taking orders during the morning shift is our Jorge and Carlos. What does Matthew do? He is in charge of the serving the tables. He is in charge of serving. He's in the charge of the serving. 
Okay, Pop serving the tables. the tables. All right, very good. Okay, Jose Bernardo, could you please share your screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. And there you can check that they um, made complete sentences. All right. And let's look, it's easier when you follow this structure. The structure is subject, verb, and complement. Look, they started with the subject, then the verb, then the complement. I think it's easier for us not getting confused with the verb agreement. If it is plural, if it is singular, then we use is or are. But if we don't know the subject, then we can't relate the correct form of the verb, all right? So always try to order the words as a sentence as they did. Look, Walter Omo and Matthew Tool. oh, they are two, so we are going to use are, okay? Then the other one, Jennifer Rodriguez. Oh, it's only one person, so I'm going to say is, okay? Kevin and Karen Dolly, two people, so are. There you go. Is here for us if we structure this as a sentence. Subject, verb, and complement. Now you can take it, right? A ver todos, a screenshot. Ahí aprovechamos, screenshot. Copy and paste. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. They did a very good job. Okay. So thank you very much, Jose Bernardo. Now we have the next activity. We have to write a paragraph about our own company. Okay. We have to write a paragraph. Uh, over there it says about seven lines if I'm not wrong, okay? Seven lines will, oh, five questions it says, five questions, I'm sorry. We have to write five questions about the schedule, okay? About the schedule, this is not a paragraph, I'm sorry. The paragraph is next, okay. Then we want to write five questions like the five we saw, above about the schedule of that restaurant, okay? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué pregunta podemos sacar ahí? Acuérdense que no solo podemos usar who is, podemos usar what time, podemos usar when, podemos usar también um, what, okay? Entonces, vamos y empecemos a hacer preguntas de esta manera, ¿ok? What time is the restaurant opening? Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. There you go. Mm -hmm. What are you doing at work at 9 a.m.? Oh, very good. If you were one of the people who works in that restaurant, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. time you say the breakfast? All right. Eh, la idea es hacer preguntas del mismo schedule, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Qué bueno que ya se están pasando a su propia historia. That's good. That's really good. All right. Pero basémonos en la información que tenemos en el schedule. Let's uh, based on the schedule, okay? What time um, the restaurant close? Okay, what time does the restaurant close? Mm -hmm. the yes. how, many, how many people are working in the morning shift? Very good. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So what time? Okay, next one was, you said something, what time? Um, is the restaurant open, right? Mm -hmm. 
in this case is opened, abierto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was the other one that you, I'm sorry, I didn't get yours. Uh, how many people are working in the restaurant in the morning chief? Okay, how many people are working on the morning shift in the morning shift okay there you go what is the manager's chief mm -hmm. One time is the change of term of the restaurant. Okay. One time is the. Ahí tendría que ser switch. Oh, switch. Okay. Uh -huh. The switch of shifts. Okay. The restaurant. This, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we did it together. Yes, yes. We complete the activity. All right. We did a good job. Yay. There you go. Okay. ¿A alguien se le quedó alguna? A ver, que no la haya dicho. How many hours do you work in the day? Very good. Mm -hmm. How many hours do you work a day? Do you a work day, a day? A day. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Is there any other who's got one? Alguien tenía otra? No, right? No. Is it okay? Okay, now we are going to go to the a platform, all right? In the platform, I posted uh, an activity. It's a rating activity. There you can find, okay, you have two ways to get there. Remember, you can go by the discussion label or you can go by the, um, a, the conference, right? Remember, so allow me to share the screen. And you are going to find a link. That link is for an article about the, uh, what does the managers, or the sales managers do, okay? And let's make a list of tasks that a manager sales do. Remember, remember that if it is singular, we are going to use the S or the ES in the verb form, okay? Remember that we are going to use the third person verb form. And there are some irregulars, have, has, do, does, uh, go, goes, all right? So there we go. Did you find it? Here it is. Look. Who? I'm sorry. What, what do you say? Uh -huh. Go ahead, Mauricio. Es que, ¿En qué video? Uh, number oh, nine. Discusión. Number oh, okay. nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. sí. You may go by the video or you may go by the discussion label. All right. This is video number nine space or spot because we haven't finished yet. So um, you can go by this one, all right? You scroll down, then you click on the post. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how No, to not the video, not the video. In this question. Discussion, you scroll down, scroll down. Baje hasta el final de la página y ahí va a encontrar debajo del video 
va a encontrar la publicación. Ahí está el link. Mire esto que está acá en azulito. Esto. Ajá. Ahí okay. usted da clic y nos aparece la actividad. It shows up. Uh, uh, ok. Ok. Let's go, Bax. Bajo en esta discusión. Uh -huh. El tema. El no puede ser. Me está dejando fuera. I don't know what happened with this thing. Stop sharing. <laughs> ¿Qué? Pero se fijaron que solo las respuestas y plums. Disappeared. Ok. Ver curso. There we go. Teacher, tengo que meterme en ese link. Sí, ese es el link que lo va a llevar a una lectura. Ok, es okay. un article. It's oh. an article. ¿Qué está marcado el article? Yes, it's really extensive. It's so long. But we are going to do a technique. This technique is called scheming. Ok, vamos a hacer un scheming. Scheming, vamos a descremar, ¿verdad? Vamos a sacar solo lo más delicioso, lo más importante. Y vamos a hacer un listado de las actividades, de tasks that sales managers do. Ok. ¿Todos lograron llegar? No, dicha me eh, Yo creo que sí, dicha. Ok. Norma. Ahorita, dice. Ah, va. Este llegué. Sí, ya. Ok. Estoy ahí donde dice, what did they do? Uh -huh. Y en ese link tengo que entrar, ¿no? Yes. Uh -huh. You have to click on the link. Okay. It's going to take you to the article. Uy, me parece un montón de cosas. Oh, my goodness. Un día en la vida de un gerente de venta. ¿Qué hace? Eso es. Yes, but it is not in Spanish. It is in English. Eh, eh, eh. No es español, me aparece. Ah, es que ha de tener activado traducir siempre las páginas a español. Entonces tiene que quitar esa opción para que le aparezca en el idioma original. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero me voy a pedir ayuda porque de esto no sé. Ayúdame, Jamie. If you don't know a word, you can go to the dictionary and look it up. Ok.
Ok, ahora sí, teacher. Ya está en inglés. Ok. Thank you. A day in the life of a cell manager. What do they do? Y entonces aquí, ¿qué voy a hacer ahora? You have to read the activities they do daily. There is a list. There are some icons over there and you can just read the headlines over there. What is the task they do? And then you are going to make a list, okay? And submit an answer. O sea, usted lee ahí. Resumen. No, no. Voy a sacar como un resumen, no. No, no, no. Va a sacar un listado de lo que usted está leyendo ahí. Ahí hay un montón de actividades que hace el gerente, ¿verdad? Entonces they usted take the toma 10. Usted toma 10. Make a list. Diez actividades. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y Remember. eso se lo voy a mandar al, al chat. Usted lo va a poner en la plataforma, en, la, en el forum de discussion. Uh -huh. ah. Ahí le va a dar submit. Usted lo escribe okay. en ese cuadrito y le da submit. Ya logró entrar, miren, ya entré otra vez. Bye. Nope. Me vuelve a sacar de... Oh, no, ya, ya entró otra vez. No me carga la página de la plataforma. Todos tienen... Nadie tiene problemas con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Todos estamos bien. Sí. Thank you, Nelly. I received your answer. So now let's look at it. Here it is from Nelly. Look. Coordinate with other departments. Nelly, can you please read them? Nelly? Okay. Um, the sales manager does, uh, the sales manager does coordinate with other departments. There's new customer acquisition channels. Analyze their pipeline performance and progress. Identify top, top reps and those who need additional pushing. Um, manage and improve the morale. Build template and create processes, processes, in software and technology solutions. Keep the team on track for success. Develop and review new sales collateral. collateral and materials. Assist and support sales reps. Thank you, Nelly. Yes. And remember, people, that we have to make the agreement. Okay. If we say the managers, okay, we are going to say coordinate, test, analyze. But if we say the sales manager, only one, we are going to use the third person, for example, coordinate, okay? And let's look at the question we ask, because here the question is, what do they do? So we are going to answer with plural, they, okay? What do they do? They coordinate, they test, they analyze, they identify, I'm sorry, identify, uh, they manage, they build, they invest, they kit, they develop and review, they assist and support, okay? Are we okay so far? 
It's time already. Are we okay so far? Is there any question? Uh, I have a problem. You me Tell saca me, a me, me saca me de, de... De la plataforma. De la plataforma. Eh, váyase ahí a un ladito, dice, usted está inscrito. Entonces, póngale ahí, ver curso. Aunque lo Percurso. saque hasta el final, o sea, lo saca, pero usted regrese por ese cuadrito que dice, ver curso. Está en la esquina derecha, arriba. Dice, usted está inscrito en este curso, ver curso. No sé si lo tiene en inglés, dirá resume. Ajá. ¿Qué, qué video es, me dije? Eh, number nine. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay, ok, ok. Pero no es el video, sino que es sí, la sí, discusión. Sí. Uh -huh. La discusión en la discusión... Uh -huh. No, pero aquí estoy, me bajé yo un poquito y me dice que todavía no hay publicación en este tema. Ah, no, ha de estar en la nueve, ha de estar en la anterior, o en la posterior. Ah, vamos a ver. En ¿Y, la si, nueve. Ajá, ¿Y si se va por el otro camino? El otro camino es la discusión. Eh, exactamente, usted hace clic en el botón de discusión. Permíteme aquí. Usted se clica en el botón de discusión Ajá. y se va a todos los temas para que le despliegue la lista. Ok. Pues este va acá, mire, a discusión y luego le va a desplegar esto, todos los temas. Usted le da clic ahí y le va a aparecer esto. Todos los temas. Ajá. Ajá. All topics, Ajá. si lo tiene en inglés, all topics. Ajá, ya entré a todos los temas. Vaya, el primero que le aparece es What do sales managers do? What? Mm. Solo me aparece. Eh, entonces, dele para abajo, tal vez le aparece al contrario. Porque puede ser que lo tiene por actividad reciente. Póngale por actividad reciente para que le aparezca al principio. Actividad reciente. Acá, mire Mauricio, aquí. Usted le da por actividad reciente y le va a aparecer este al principio. Actividad reciente. Hoy sí. Ah, voy a intentarlo de nuevo. Vale. ¿Los demás lo pudieron hacer? Yes, miss. Ok, yeah, que yeah. solo tengo dos respuestas, ¿verdad? Vamos a darle refresh. All right. Entonces voy a tomar la asistencia. Please, everybody. Remember, you have to turn your camera on. Oh, oh my God, it's 10.07. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I always try to be punctual and finishing. Ok, voy a ir diciéndolo rápido para que vayamos... Eh, se pueden ir desconectando después de decir presente, pero se quedaría este, Irma, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. All right. Vamos a ver. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Hey, pero el que no me lo ha subido, por favor, me sube la respuesta. Ok. Vamos. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Mr. Vladimir. Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto, Claudia María Guerrero Mejía, Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez, Present Teacher, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez, Present Teacher, Eduardo Franco Núñez, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix, Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro, 
Yeah, she said present. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Jose, Al okay. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. All right. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Present, Maria present. Okay. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Okay. Okay, thank you. Marina Chancy Sandoval Bonilla. Present. All right, thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Nelly. Uh, present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre. Good night. Norma Patricia Viuda de Ar Arrué. All right, good night. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher, good night. Tatiana, okay, good night. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. All right, thank you, Imelda. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher, good night. Okay, have a very good night, everyone. And if there is no more questions, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, bye. teacher. See you tomorrow. Night. See you. Take care. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. How are you doing tonight? Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel sleepy. All right. How can I assist you to assist you tonight? Um. <laughs> Do you have questions? Mm. No, solo. Ahorita estaba llenando lo de lo lo que estábamos practicando. Uh -huh, uh -huh. De ahí, que creo que he comprendido el tema bastante bien. Ayer sí no estuve muy presente, que sí. Pero estuve viendo un poco, pero no todavía no me como a nivel Ah, uh, ok. Remember to watch the videos when you don't, I mean, when you don't, uh, when you aren't able to attend class, then you watch the video, all right? To catch up. Yes, to catch up. All right, and what about the homework and the platform? Are you okay with the platform? Um, ahora estaría trabajando en ella. Yes, please, because you have to, um, yeah, you have to work until homework number 10, all right? And also the midterm test. Tiene que trabajar hasta la 10 y el examen ya, ¿ok? Sí. Ajá, para que ya podamos ir completando sí. las notas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí, sí. Exacto. Cualquier cosa, estoy a la orden, ¿ok? Anything uh -huh. you need, you just uh, send a text message through the WhatsApp group and I'll be able to help you, all right? Ok, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, then I think if you don't have any more questions, we may finish. Okay. All right. Okay, have a very good night, Irma. Good night. Bye -bye.